Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. You know, I was down here last week. Yeah, last week and I was doing the Zune Crane M2S gimbal review. And while I was here, I heard that unmistakable sound of a double barred finch and they always hang around this area. So it must be the season for them. So I've got my Nikon D850 with the 80 to 400 mm lens and I'm just coming up onto that spot now where they are. I'll show you their habitat and you just know that they hang around this area. Yeah, we'll see how we go. I'm just gonna slow up here right now. Cause before when I was here, they were just here. I'm just gonna move a little bit more slowly now. I think I can hear them down this way. You're not gonna believe this before when I was walking along, I was actually going to a mailbox up here to send a letter. Yes, people still send letters, but these two little finches landed right beside me on this tree here and I couldn't believe the size of them. They must be fattening themselves up because we're coming into winter. But I'm just gonna be a little bit quieter now because this is their habitat right here. This is where I normally see them. They are so quick, these little guys. And the thing, I guess, same thing with any sort of bird and wildlife, it's just patience. You have to sit and wait. <laughs> I know guys have waited weeks, months to get the one shot. But, you know, I'm pretty blessed where I live in that I've got this nature reserve down the back. And we get lots of different types of birds in here. We also get the odd wallaby, Australian wallaby as well. But yeah, I'm just waiting now. It's the waiting game. I just wait to hear them. They've got this really distinctive call. And as soon as I hear them, I'll try and nab a couple of shots. Often than not, when I'm chasing one particular bird species, I always stumble onto others that drop by to say hello. Like these yellow spotted honey eaters who were gorging themselves on the nectar from these purple flowers. Their long tongues get right into the flowers. And if they can't reach, they normally rip it off at the stem and chug, chug, chug. Hang on, I think this could be the double barred finches. Hmm, grey in colour, but no. This is a grey fantail coming down to find out what all that clicking from that camera is about. I've been chasing this little fantail around here and I finally got him. He was just sitting on this branch right here. Half his face was sitting in sun. Oh well, if you're posing for me little guy, I may as well fire off some shots. Okay, there's that unmistakable call. Definitely heard the double barred finches just in this dense stuff here. Here we go. Look at that little face, will you? The cuteness would just melt butter. And where there's one, there's normally a whole bunch. So it was time to stand still and let the D850 do all the capturing for me.
so fast. But they love, I guess it's because they're camouflaged as well. It goes in so well with these type of trees. They just match in perfectly. I can still hear them. But I think they're more in this dense foliage over here. And they were definitely in this thick scrub, feasting on grass seeds and more importantly, stopping for a quick chat to one another and a clean and polish of those feathers. But that's what I mean with patience. You just have to sit and wait and wait and wait. And especially if you're in their environment, eventually they'll come around. But um, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but that's just part and parcel of bird and wildlife photography. You can keep coming back and keep coming back until you get the shots. And I guess that is the key is to persist and you have to have that patience to keep coming back until you get those frames you want. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time.